The last time we had the privilege of driving an MV Agusta was the beautiful Super Velis. While this retro sports bike is a blast to ride in prime conditions, it is quite difficult in traffic, which begs the question, what would it be like to ride on one of MV's more urban offerings? Enter the Dragster 800RR, a bare bike with a revised version of Super Velis's 800cc three-cylinder engine, a high-quality kit and the same attention to detail and craftsmanship as its fully streamlined stablemate. The 2021 Dragster hit the Philippine market earlier this year and I was fortunate enough to be one of the first to try out the new and improved Nude. How well did this street fighter perform as a daily rider? The Dragster's design makes no effort to disguise the combination of artistry and power encased in its trellis frame. The naked bike shows all its muscles in the eyes of the world. An imposingly sculpted fuel tank, triple tailpipe, clean tail and one-sided swing arm give the Dragster a sense of speed, power and aggressiveness even when stationary. Touches like Italian flag decals, spoke wheels, tasteful logos, a unique tail light and the signature of the engine manufacturer of the specific motorcycle make an already premium motorcycle even more stylish. It's the kind of bike that's almost as fun to ride. I personally spent over a few minutes silently gazing at the dragster with a cup of coffee in hand, my eyes savoring every detail of this work of art. Despite the brief impression the rear gives off, the bicycle saddle is surprisingly comfortable. Sufficient cushioning supports the rider's saddle on long journeys, the footrests are sporty without being too far back, and the clip-on handlebars don't require you to adopt a racing bike-style riding position. The heat from the engine isn't bad either, but it does get hot enough in the circulation to remind you of the power between your legs. The saddle height isn't too high at 33.27 inches, although smaller riders will have to hang half of their glutes from the saddle to reach the ground at traffic lights. Bar mirrors do a great job of showing what's behind, but its size and location makes it a bit difficult to get around unless you fold it up. At first glance, you might think the dragster has no passenger accommodation. A glance under the seat, however, reveals cleverly hidden passenger footboards that wobble when not in use. It will probably stay there most of the time due to the small back seat. True to its name and appearance, the Dragster is a living bike. Its 798cc DOHC three-cylinder engine delivers 140 horsepower at 12,300 revolutions per minute and 87 newton meters of torque at 10,250 revolutions per minute. The MV Agusta boasts a top speed of 244 kilometers per hour, which we have no doubts in the least. Turn the accelerator and the bike will explode with the power of a dedicated sports bike. The power delivery is smooth and refined, while being wild and exhilarating at the same time. Although tuned to meet Euro 5 regulations, the Dragster feels positively responsive and immediate, even at low revs. Dragster is elegant but present when inactive, yet loud and imposing despite its acceleration. Gear changing is quick and easy with MV Agusta's quick up and down gear change. This technology makes it easier to operate the smart clutch system in the number 40 model, SCS in number 41, less on the road. The well-balanced chassis and sporty geometry harmonize perfectly with the Dragster's engine. The narrow, winding roads that would otherwise be of concern became fun challenges, allowing me to experience the handling of the bike. Canyoning with the Dragster was a blast, thanks to its premium components. The Marzocchi inverted fork and Sax progressive damper did a great job of keeping the bike nimble and stable while taking consecutive turns, although some big bumps and holes reminded me of the suspension sporting intentions does not lose traction when folded despite being almost new. Brembo brakes do more than enough to reduce the power of the bike. The calipers work with Continental MK100 cornering abs, which comes in handy on wet roads. A CRC steering damper is mounted on top of the mounting plate, 
which helps keep the bike stable and prevents tank slamming when the front pulls off the ground. Although I have to admit I don't have enough experience with steering dampers to distinguish between soft and hard settings. A nice 5.5-inch TFT instrument cluster provides all the information you need, except for a fuel gauge. Thanks to this screen and the control on the handlebars, the pilot can scroll through different driving modes, activate cruise control and launch control, and displays telemetry data such as tilt angle and g-forces via the IMU, among other functions. The LED headlight has cornering lights that light up when the bike is tilted, which is useful when riding in the dark and around blind spots. One of the most notable MV models right now is the MV Ride app, which allows you to connect your smartphone to the bike to monitor vital signs, change various settings and more. The layout of the app is easy to understand and looks good. Compared to the Super Velis 800, the Dragster 800RR is much easier to use on a daily basis. The driving position is mostly straight, the clutch is maneuverable and the engine can be forced to be pleasant during daily trips. Compared to other more reasonable bikes, however, the Dragster definitely requires some dedication to ride in Metro Manila. However, the minor annoyances and thirsty engine are mostly negligible when the road opens up and you can maximize what the bike is capable of. Plus, with something this wonderful, it's worth a little effort. Price of 1,300,000 pesos. Engine is 798 cc DOHC inline 3 cylinder. Power is 140 horsepower at 12,300 revolutions per minute. Torque is 87 newton meters at 10,250 revolutions per minute. Transmission is 6 speed manual. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook channel. Hit that notification bell to receive newly uploaded video. Keep safe and have a good day.